Welcome, Mr. Prentice here, and today, or this part we're talking about is taxable income in Australia and what it means compared to, say, your gross income or your net income and these other things. So in the previous session, I have talked about gross income being your total of all your incomes from every single stream. So you might earn income from your main job. You might earn income extra as superannuation. You might earn income as shares from the share market or from interest, but by having money in a bank account. Okay, so we talk about gross income being your total of all of your sources of income. And then we talked about net income, what you actually get in the bank account. Okay, so sometimes they you know, have your gross income and then removing some things such as uh, income tax or you know, particular things that you have to pay before you even get it in your bank account. Now, I said specifically we do not want to confuse these with a thing called taxable income. Okay, taxable income. And taxable income is what the amount is, you know, the income that the ATO will use so that they'll charge you an income tax on this amount. Okay, so all it's just used for is, as its name implies, what we would be, what we'll be paying tax on. Okay, and how we work this out is we find our, um, income from all of our different sources okay so we'll find our income from our um, main job or from our interest or from even renting a property if you own if you own a property then you have to claim the rent that people pay you as an income okay so it's your total income but then we subtract a thing here called allowable deductions okay allowable deductions and what these are which a lot of people call tax deductions are things that you had to pay as a way of earning your income or as part of earning your income so this might be the clothes that you need for your job uh, that is only if it's a so uniform only if it's a compulsory uniform not myself as a teacher or it might be if you are a tradie and you have to buy tools, um, you know, you, you can claim these as a tax deduction or as an allowable deduction. So every single job has, you know, common deductions that we can use. And that's where a lot of people pay accountants to help them um, know what the deductions they actually can use are. So... Income tax is our taxable income. Uh, sorry, no, it's not. Sorry, our taxable income is what we're finding, which is your gross income. Take away all of these allowable things that we've spent for our job. Okay? We will look at income tax in the next session. So, some examples. We'll actually look at income tax soon. So, Hi Young has a gross income of 39650 and allowable tax deductions of $934. So, they might have claimed some uniform allowance or laundry. You can claim, you know, a, a dollar, I think it is, to, um, to wash your clothes for each shift. So, these different things like that. Calculate her taxable income. So, we do that by just saying taxable income. Income, we don't need to write gross income minus allowable deductions every single time, but her gross income was $39,650, and then we take away her deductions of $934. Okay, so that's what we look at here. I won't get the calculator up on the screen for that. Uh, I'll do it for a following question. So that ended up being 
$1,716. Okay, so she will pay a income tax on this amount. Uh, let's have a look at EG2. A large company employs Ken as a plumber. Ken claims deductions of $1,400 to buy tools. So he had to buy plumbing tools. Uh, $25 for a new set of gumboots, which he obviously needed for work. $200 for the overalls. And $5 per week for dry cleaning the overalls. $1.50 per week for work-related telephone calls. Calculate Ken's total tax deductions. Okay, so this isn't even talking about taxable income at the moment. This is talking about allowable deductions. Okay, so this is a separate, this is what we would uh, take away from his gross income so that we can work out the, um, the taxable income. So allowable deductions. In this case, we would just add up all of these. Okay, so I'm adding up $1,400 that he spent on tools. He also spent $25 on gumboots. He's also spent $200 for a pair of work boots. $5 per week for dry cleaning. So $5 times 52 um, for dry cleaning. Um, you know, obviously there's ins and outs with this because if he worked um, only 48 weeks a year um, and had four weeks annual leave, then we will, um, you know, an accountant will have to deal with that. But in our purposes in school, we will just use 52 every time we see per week. Uh, and same for this, plus $1.50 per week as well for the work-related phone calls. Okay, so I'll... Get the calculator out for that one. It's fourteen hundred plus twenty-five plus two hundred plus five times fifty-two plus a dollar fifty times fifty-two as well. Okay, so one thousand nine hundred and sixty-three dollars. Okay, so this means that if he earned a fifty thousand dollar gross income as a plumber. He would get fifty thousand. Take away his answer would give him his taxable income. That's what he would actually pay tax on. Okay, if he had a fifty thousand dollar income. So that's what the government will charge tax on. If we look at so. uh, two more examples. So EG three. Um, see what he's got here. We've got Trevor has a gross income. Of 55,000 he also earned $435 from other investments I I wrote that question wrong because therefore his gross income would actually be 55,435 so his main income I should say has a I, I should say his main whoops, wrong color his main annual income was 55,000 plus he earned $435 from other Things. Maybe that's interest in the bank account or if you own some shares. Okay, so his gross income for this is equal to 55,000 plus 435. Okay, which is 55,435. And then his, he would take away the allowable deductions from this to get his taxable income. Okay, so his gross income is 55,435 and therefore his taxable income is the total of those, so 55,435, take away what he spent for work, which seems to be 1,326. A fifty five four three five take away one three two six is fifty four thousand one hundred and nine dollars. Uh, the last example uh, it says Cavett is a telephone salesman 
he's paid a commission. We, we talked about different types of income. So he's got 5% of all sales over the year and he made $850,000 of sales. Wow. I should become a salesman. Let's actually have a look and see how much he did earn. So A is income. It doesn't say if that was the... Yeah, the, that's just his income. I'm guessing it's his gross income, but it didn't say. So his income would be 5% of the phone calls he made uh, of the 855, $850,000. Okay, so... We work out his income first. Uh, remember 5%. I don't like using that percent button on the calculator. I've told you that many times. You could use 0.05 if you want for 5%. Or what I've just got here is 5 over 100. I don't mind what you use, um, what you, you'd have. But it's 42,500. That's okay. I, thought, I was thinking that was going to be a bigger number, bigger number than that. So this is his gross commission, um, or his income that he got the money from. B, uh, he makes $10 worth of phone calls that are tax deductible, deductible per day, five days per week. Okay, So we're not using 365 days of the year. Here. So we will say for this, he's got allowable deductions or tax deductions if you want of ten dollars per day times five days a week times 52 weeks okay so that's 10 times 5 times 52 so he's got two thousand six hundred dollars of allowable deductions and therefore he's if he made no other tax deductions his taxable income is the total income 42,500 take away is $2,600 okay so we get 42,500 Take away 2,600 is 39,900. Um, what I would you like, like you to do for the middle part of this session is have a go at completing these six questions on calculating taxable income. There's the first three, if you'd like to pause. And here's the next three. Uh, what I have done is I have put on my OneNote as well, where you could get them from, a file for taxable incomes. It looks like, uh, it says I'm working offline. If you would like to open that off and you could print it out, then you could show you're working on that as well. Okay?